What's up guys, it's your boy Quarter Porter with Cheese and it's time for some Xenoblade Chronicles X on the Nintendo Wii U. And <clears throat> I did a little bit of grinding off screen and um, hopefully we can have success this time when we go up against old gal from the Ganglion game. Ganglion Menace, Ganglion Thorn in my side. All right, people. The voice got to take care of this guy. And I'm using my uh, Wii U uh, Pro controller, so it might be a little off for the first little bit of it. The buttons are like laid out a little differently, so I gotta get used to that. Like especially the what the location of the buttons, I guess. They're spread out a little bit more in the gamepad. Disgusting. So let's head over here and see if we don't get blown back this time. Get a load of this. Punch first. Ask what shadow strike. Block this. Final hold. Hit him again, boy. Now I'm getting somewhere. Well, Leave it to me. Close it. My forte, but if you insist. A cold hammer. First down. Okay then. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and bully up everything. Maybe we can uh, get lucky and get another level before we go. Keep on trucking. Getting levels. 
So my boy got a level. We're getting levels. <clears throat> We're rocking all them bezels. Experience. Looks like we cleared all the uh, riff raff out of the area. So let's go ahead and uh, head into the action. I don't think you'll let us walk away. Place. Consider this an official Just that chick, right? This is it, right? Now this part I like. Infuriate! Balance breaker! Flame grenade! Fire the hole! Got him! Lay down some cover fire! Watch your step! This one's got your name on it! Get up. Yeah. Not 
This bitch is hard to kill, man. Damn. He keeps doing it really fucking fast. Get that skank, man. See, what, how am I supposed to put the, hit the button that fucking fast? Got her. Yes, finally. Yes. Skank. You don't know when to quit, do you? This isn't over. You cannot escape us on this planet or any other. Sooner or later, your kind will be cleansed! Mr. Scolidium, now, quickly! Fought victory indeed. Such a shame you cannot bring back that which was lost to you. But this is spilled milk over the dam now. I just don't get it. What do they have against humans? I'm not sure how they wound up on Nero. But you saw them, Mac. That is definitely them. Who? The aliens that destroyed Earth. The Ganglion were among them. What? It wasn't just them. They were definitely one of the forces involved in that battle. I'm absolutely positive now. That scale-like mech we just saw? Check it against the NLA records and I'm pretty sure it'll come back with a perfect match. <sighs> anyway, we really appreciate all your help here, El. But we need to be heading back now. Not at all. We only wish we could have done more. I wish we could compensate you somehow, but honestly, there's nothing left for us to give. Compensate, you say? Hmm. How about allowing us to accompany you back to your city? You want to come back to New L.A.? Why exactly? Well, the treasure trove was destroyed. We have the archives. We're afraid our thirst for knowledge cannot be quenched. But in time, a city to explore? Such an experience would provide compensation beyond compare. The thought makes us tingle. Okay. Hmm. What do you think, Rook? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. We're not like the gangland, after all. We want to live in harmony with all the other species here. Then it's settled. Excellent. Let's be off. The early worm is for the birds. Right. Let's start heading back. We should report to the commander at once. Level up! I think even my cooking got better. Alright, so we finally had success. Defeated that damn skank. Too bad we didn't kill her. She got away. Let's look at that kind of brutality. Jesus. So, um, what we're we going to do here is we're actually going to go back to uh, New LA. And how we're going to do that is we're going to use the, uh, the, warps, the warp system and the. Uh, game so give me just a second my game path charging and i'm going to reach over there and try to warp us back to uh at least close to new la all right let me actually grab that shit real quick anyways while i'm talking to y'all guys what do y'all think of the lp so far and i'm sorry about the failure but like i said i didn't read the manual or anything If I did everything right, we should be pretty close to um, New LA from here. Alright. 
right, so let's see where we are. Yeah, we're fairly close. We could we could make it from here. It's just a like quick trot over there, and then we'll get there. Yeah, I really like this game, man. I'm telling y'all. The thing that frustrated me so far is just... It's, it was really tough to kill that chick. Like, I had to grind off screen a little bit to get to where I was at. I mean, eventually, Hard Knocks would have probably got me there. But, yeah, it's an RPG. You gotta grind. I can definitely tell you that. I try to make sure that I keep up with the levels of the uh, enemies and whatnot. Some of the enemies are like way, the levels are way, way skewed. So like, you want to definitely avoid them. And I guess that's kind of how it would really be in real life anyways. Like you wouldn't um, just run around and have like a bunch of weak enemies all in one area and then a bunch of strong enemies all in one area. It's kind of mixed all together. So now that we made it back to town, I'm actually going to uh, see if I can um, fast track myself over to um, HQ, alright? So let's do that real quick. Should have put us over by the blade barracks. Try not to waste too much time in this episode, alright? Because we're going to have a little bit of story, most likely. Alright, we're back at the barracks. Let's go in here. Alright, so let's, uh... Oh, it says to go to the blade tower. Whoops. Let's go back. Our bad. Actually, my bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. What I'll probably do is um, go into the uh, tower, and then I will um, end the episode after um, the cinematic that's most definitely going to occur after we uh, talk to Commander Vandom, a.k.a. Commander Van. All right. Talk to my boy Van. I'm looking for Rish. up another Xeno, or someone's been holding their breath too long. This is Elle. We met in Noctilum. We are El Siruf, if it please you. This planet has been our home since days of yore. Oh, a long-time resident? Well, that's why we brought him back. His knowledge could prove invaluable. I'd like to request permission for him to stay in New L.A. We can't allow just anyone to waltz into our city on a whim. How much do we know about him? I know enough. Enough to say that we can trust him. All Miran natives are good, honest folk. Yes, Tatsu, yes. Anyway, Elma, you do seem quite sure of yourself. All right. I'll share the responsibility. He can stay. If that's acceptable, Mr. Director General. If you're both certain, so be it. Many thanks, good sirs. Truly, we are walking on the ninth cloud of seventh heaven. Please call us L. The rest is far too formal. And honestly, we prefer L anyway. 
More importantly, Colonel, what happened with the life holds unit? I see. So it wasn't the core after all. No. We confirmed it was one of the archive units. Unit number 07. 07? That would be the LC repository, wouldn't it? One of three, but yes. The entirety of the Library of Congress archives. As I recall, the data was stored on units 07 through 09. Well, thank God it wasn't the core. This situation could have been a lot worse. I wonder. Hmm? The LC archives contained nearly every published work in mankind's history. It's not like it's just a bunch of random books and manuscripts, you know. It's a history of human thought, a record of opinions and emotions. I mean, yeah, sure, but... So if you stop and consider what it means to lose even a third of that data, it's a cultural and historical loss of catastrophic proportions. <clears throat> we do have parity data for the archives here. We know which unit was lost, so hopefully we can find some way to restore it. Let's hope so. Moving on. These ganglion. You're certain they were involved in the destruction of Earth? Here. See for yourself. The left shot is from a battle over Beijing. The right, from our encounter. Son of a... Is it possible this is their native planet? Tatsu told us they aren't from here, and El confirmed it. They're recent arrivals. Very recent. So, either it's one hell of a coincidence, or they followed us. Considering they appear to be systematically targeting the life hold, I'd say that leaves no question they follow us here. Could they possibly know the purpose of the life hold? Maybe the whole reason we haven't found the core yet is because those scumbags already trashed it. If so, none of us would be here talking in the first place, would we? Uh, you got a point. This information doesn't leave this room, but we've had several recent Pathfinder reports of Xeno sightings and contact. They may or may not be gangmen, but regardless, I propose we double down on our defenses going forward. That'll be all, Elma. Please continue hunting for any signs of the lightning. Yes, sir. Remember, the clock is always ticking. We have to find that unit before it's too late. Hell yeah, we saving over that shit. Alright folks, 
I'm going to end the episode right here. And uh, we'll catch up in the next episode. I quit.